radio. Oh, yeah. I'm just so addicted, can't leave it alone. It's a psychic Wednesday. Hmm. Day, day, day. All right, look, I'm no professional, but my psychic abilities are telling me that today we will do Are You Smarter Than Young Child? Also, it's telling me that we will hit y'all with the date dilemma. And my psychic abilities are telling me Miss Shanika got the biggest thing happening today and the word on the streets. But Shanika, you know what? You know what it is, man. My psychic abilities are telling me that your crazy report is going to be the craziest. They don't call me a little cray cray for nothing. Hey, boy, you ain't lying. You ain't never lie. You ain't never lie. Keep it locked. Yeah. Young Jock in the streets morning take over. Young Jock in the streets morning take over brings you the biggest thing happening today. What's popping? Pop, poppin'? We are now live on your radio. That's right. We got to get right into it. And talk about this, according to PBS, Fox News has reached a last-second settlement with Dominion Voting System on Tuesday, paying more than almost $800 million to end this colossal two-year legal battle. Fox News and Dominion Voting Systems have reached a settlement in their defamation case that's playing out in Wilmington, Delaware. A story that a lot of people are paying attention to. The attorney for Dominion Voting Systems just spoke and says that Fox agreed to pay $787 million and $500,000. The CEO of Dominion also says Fox has admitted to telling lies about Dominion during the 2020 presidential election. The lawsuit initially asking for $1.6 billion. All right, well, a lot of people... If you are confused about what Dominion is, it is a voting system. And Fox News basically went on a rant for years saying that the election was rigged. The voting system was rigged. And it looks like Dominion definitely won that battle. And on top of that, they have acknowledged telling lies, but they do not have to go on air and recant these lies that they spread for all these years. So it's going to be interesting where this 800, almost $800 million makes this company have to lose a couple of very important players. We'll see how it all plays out. That is the biggest thing happening today. I'm Miss Shanika. Of course, Shawty Shawty coming up with that crazy report. And we're going to take you around the streets in 90 seconds. It is Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. That's right. We are going to take you around the streets in 90 seconds. There are updates on Andrew Lester, 84-year-old Kansas City man, who's accused of shooting Ralph Yarl. In Kansas City, charges have been filed in the recent shooting of a 16-year-old shot after he rang the wrong doorbell. 84-year-old Andrew Lester is charged with assault and armed criminal action. Police say he shot Ralph Yarl in the head and upper arm. Yarl went to his house looking for his twin brothers who he was picking up. A warrant is out for Lester's arrest at this time. In the meantime, the teen's father tells the Kansas City Star he has been released from the hospital and is recovering at home. A GoFundMe started by Ralph's aunt to help pay for medical expenses has already topped $2.6 million. All right. And the extended updated version is Andrew Lester turned himself in, but then was later on released on bond. So we're going to keep you updated with that story. 
There is one dead and multiple injured in New York City parking garage collapse. Partial parking collapse in New York City. We know now that it has turned deadly. At least one person has been killed in this accident in lower Manhattan. This building apparently unstable. Again, a parking garage collapse. One person confirmed dead. The upper levels of the three-story building in lower Manhattan collapsed, just sending cars crashing down onto the levels below. Firefighters have been pulled out of the building due to concerns over its structural stability prayers to all involved in that i mean one of those things that you think about you don't think would ever happen but it it does so prayers out to those people and finally atlanta mayor executive order extends the ban on any repurpose of atlanta medical center for now on Mayor Andre Dickens is blocking any changes to Atlanta Medical Center with a new executive order. He says he wants the campus to keep serving as a health care facility for the community. What will happen when AMC closes down on November 1st? Well, that is still a big question mark. This order tells the city to block any new applications for rezoning or permits that could change the campus in Old Fourth Ward. All right. Well, we'll see how it plays out in the future of the ATL. Yes. That is taking you around the streets in 90 seconds. Of course, Shawty Shawty got that crazy report at the 25. Yeah. Keep it locked in with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yo, it's the craziest story you'll hear all morning. The crazy report is on right now. Shawty Shawty, run it down. Chill, run it down is what we about to do, man. That's what Tinder had to do, Shawty. Because shit, they had to run down this guy who was, this woman who was sleeping with up to six guys per night unprotected. Take a listen. Eventually, it got to a point where, like, I was 19 and I got kicked out of my house because I was, like, bringing over six dudes a night. Like, it just was never enough. What? Wait. <laughs> Six, six dudes a night for like a consecutive week yeah monday through oh, friday no. weekends were my rally days what do you mean oh um and you were meeting almost all of these guys from tinder or dating house. tinder or bumble i got kicked off. i got perma banned off tinder they will not have me back are you uh using production no oh my god oh that is disturbing she was wondering like why did they ban me off tinder they say because you were getting up too much meat Man, that's crazy. She she wrote him. She said, I want to come back. They said, bitch, you ain't tender. You rough. <laughs> they shout out what my name is with the crazy report. Oh, my God. That is, why would you voluntarily tell that story? I seen comments saying the CIA would not be able to get that story out of me. Now, what about her poor kids? You know what I mean? They got to go to school now. Her mama, the yeah. tender babe. <laughs> Untender. She probably drunk about no, Tender but. tough. Anyway, uh, let's get into these national days. <laughs> it is oh National God. Garlic Day. Mm. National Refresh Your Goals Day. That is huge. You know, a lot of people have probably strayed from their New Year's resolutions. Let's get back on goal. Also, National Banana Day. And it is National Poker Day. However you take it. Banana Poker Day. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> It's separate. It's separate. Hey. But I guess you can celebrate it together if you want to. All right. And we got to get into the celebrity birthdays. It is a big happy birthday shout out for Sylvester the Cat. Also, Suge Knight is celebrating his birthday, rotting away in prison. Mm. And Candace Parker is celebrating her birthday as well. And, you know, we love to celebrate our local people. If today is your birthday or someone special in your life, make sure you hit us up so we can get their birthdays on the song right now at one eight six six Y U N G J O C. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning. Yeah. Takeover. That's right. Good morning. Good morning. Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Miss Shanika right here. Shouty, shouty. Chill. Shouty, we got to talk about it. Finally, mm -hmm. this viral video from over the weekend that just had us captivated. All right. There was a young lady. Now we know her name. Her name is Kendra Nance. Mm. <sighs> she is now facing charges after being arrested because... <laughs> she wrecked a car twice. Yes. I mean, she had no regard for human life at all. Charges, criminal charges had been filed because she crashed her car at a Chicago gas station. A woman involved in a chaotic fight in West Suburban Forest Park now faces felony charges, and it was all caught on camera. Oh my baby! Oh my baby! Y'all better go ahead! 
Forest Park police say 31-year-old Kendra Nance was fighting with her boyfriend at this Thornton station afternoon when other customers got involved. Detectives say getting behind the wheel of a Ford Explorer and nearly driving into several people, she then sped off, crashed into another car, and flipped over. But she got out and continued to yell at others involved in the fight. Police arrested Nance about a block away. No one else was hurt. She's scheduled to be in court to face several felonies, including aggravated assault. Mm. Child, we've been trying to figure out what had happened. Okay, so the dude was her boyfriend. Okay. And it started off, they was fussing in the corner over there. Mm-hmm. Then some girls was throwing stuff at her, and she got in the car and drove around. And the girl, I wish you would hit my car, hit my car. And that's when I wish you would meet, I would. Because she ran straight through the cars, and then she tried to get away and ran to the street and hit somebody at the light and flipped the car over. It was crazy. I thought she took somebody else's car and flipped their car. No, she came out there. She came out the. Uh, she she hit everybody's car at the gas station. Then when she hit the streets, she hit another car parked at the light and flipped over. Then got out like the Terminator, like unhurt and started laughing. Ha, 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 ha. She literally had no regard for human life. And we want the the true backstory on. Yeah, it. Chicago. So- this is on y'all. This represents y'all city. We need y'all to call up and give us the word on the streets because we don't want this thing to be on y'all with this crazy lady like this. So call us up. Tell us what it is on the streets. What really happened at that gas station? That's right. You can DM us at Streets Board and Takeover or you can call us up. Family members. 1-866-Y-U-N-G-J-O-C. Okay. So we got to get inside this word on the streets news coming up in L.A. Chopper. I'm just highly disappointed right now. Mm. I really love listening to him, love him as an artist. But, ooh, this little stain right here with this pregnancy announcement from his ex-girlfriend that we got to get into has to be talked about and find out why Krishan Rock said that she is skipping the baddies reunion. All that Mm. and more coming up inside the word on the streets news in less than 10 minutes. Turn off the light. The mics are on and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen. Word on the streets. She be bopping. I need more. Word on the streets. Screaming bright like on a moped. Word on the streets. I get it popping like a blackhead. Word on the streets. Going down like Jock said. It's Young Jock in the streets morning takeover with Miss Shanika. You heard what that man said. It's Miss Shanika. And daddy is me. So let's talk about it. NLE Chopper's ex-girlfriend has had enough of his shenanigans, honey. All right. Uh, it all started when NLE Chopper was catcalling out to Megan Good mm. and said he wanted some of that that good. She's recently single. Megan Good. My I was waiting on her. Yes, like. <laughs> Let me call Megan real quick. Hey, you got Megan over? Come on, Jason Lee. Come on. Oh, she got her answer. Hey, on me, I've been wanting to take on a demo. I want to get, like, some roses planned. Like, I want to do, like, some real, some shit I never did before for Megan Good. You know, I could be a preacher, all that. What else you want me to be? Megan. Hey. Say, say hello to NLE Chopper. He hasn't given me this much energy the whole interview, but now I see every tooth <laughs> in his mouth. Hi. Hey, hey, how you doing, Megan? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm extremely blessed. Um, I was just telling you, she hung up. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was a lit. I could have listened to that for like five more minutes. Mm, she don't go for the man. Well, no good, needless no to say, the woman has said that she's not interested. This young man just keeps on saying, hey, Miss Good, what's up? Like he trying to, you know, get at her or what have you. Well, his ex, Marissa, is just over it all. After She's seen the second attempt of NLE Chopper trying to get at Megan Good. She said, oh, really? Like, where was this energy at when I need you? All right? You steadily trying to go after this woman, but basically, I got your child. And I thought this was another antic because this young lady, she made such a fuss when this young man wanted to get rid of her. And she's like 30 something. He's very young. So I was just like, why is this woman crying so badly over this young man? Apparently he got that good, good. Okay. Um, Mm. But we've seen videos where he is uh, injecting her with progesterone shots to help get her pregnant. He said he was going to be there throughout the pregnancy. And now... There's a void. She's going to doctor's visits alone, and all he's doing is sending her money. That's what she me, said. She fell for that. 
she fell for it. This young man told Megan, I could be anything she want me to be, which tells me you don't even know who you are as a person yet. And for you to help get someone pregnant on your behalf is just I'm I need to know what's going on. I heard he's going to be visiting us real soon and I need the whole full story. OK, um, moving right along. Prayers out to that young lady because she got tricked. Uh, speaking of being tricked, Krishan, who stays tricked, she says she's mm. skipping the baddies reunion because <laughs> she does not to want to be fighting her cast members. Nah, me and Stunner was going to go together, but I'm not going because I got to shoot my show. You know I mean? And all that little BBC, all, you see how all got Caddy right before the reunion? It's about to, we're not even going to be filming. Mm. All right. Well, she actually says that she's going through something right now with her baby four of her which is blue face and she has some temporary teeth she said she did not want the veneers but she has a temporary fix and she actually looks like a normal person you want to check out all these videos and pics go to streets morning takeover and check us out on ig that's so interesting right there hey man <laughs> y'all just stick around there's so much more news coming keep it where you got it young jock in the streets morning takeover and he knows. Yes, sir. <laughs> Young Jack in the streets morning to take over. You got to know what it is. Uh, all right. We're going to get right into this, shout it. Uh-huh. Damar Hamlin has been cleared to resume football activities after his January cardiac arrest. Mm. You hear what I said? I, I heard He's you. He's been cleared to resume football activities after his cardiac arrest in January. Wow. I don't know how to feel about that. I, I'm not rooting him to go back out there on the field. Yeah, but I want y'all to take a listen to this. This event was life-changing, but it's not the end of my story. So I'm here to announce that I plan on making a comeback to the NFL. So the diagnosis of pretty much what happened to me was basically commodio cortis. It's a direct blow at a specific point in your heartbeat that causes cardiac arrest. And five to seven seconds later, um, you fall out. And that's pretty much what everyone's seen January 2nd of this year. Commodio cortis is the leading cause of death in youth in youth athletes across all sports. So that's something that I personally will be taking a step in to make a change. To make a change or to mm. die? Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. you saying this is the number one read? <laughs> okay. First and foremost, let me just say this. So glad to hear that this young man has been cleared to uh, resume yeah. at his livelihood, football. All right. I'm I'm, I'm I'm ecstatic to hear that. Yes. I'm overjoyed. Did right? But then when I step back, I say, wait a minute. You, you skipped death, my boy. Cheated. Cheated it. Yes. Danced all around it. Came back. I don't know if I'm the same supporter I was in January. For this young man And what, what that means is I was so happy I was so touched by God That he did not expire mm, On that you. field yes. Although he coded twice mm. So to hear that he's going back On the field to play I'm happy that doctors Have even cleared him to do so And considered it safe enough For him to do that But I still just don't know If I would go back I'm not rooting for him to go back And I would not go back I wouldn't even go on the sideline Jock. I sat there And America sat there And our heart stopped And he was motionless On that ground And just to even Put yourself at risk To be back down there again You know it, it, It's crazy to me <laughs> I would go into philanthropy I would uh, Save kids the, the poster child The poster child For, for that cardio car, 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 For the condition say, Yeah for the condition How about that <laughs> Now we want to know man Does this push the narrative To younger kid athletes That may also deal With this same type Of heart condition Or you know A situation like this But I want to know From y'all Should he go back It's just that simple Should he go back You think he should go back No Not, not at all Hmm one 866 why you in I'm I'm glad But Somebody's not going to care about that and going to try to pile drive him. Mm. Going to try to truck him, train wreck him. one 866 Call us up right now for this trending topic. We want to hear from you. Should Damari Hamlin go back out there on that football field? Keep it locked, Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yeah. Back at it. Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. What up, Miss Shanika? Good morning. Good morning. All right, shout it. 
Now we're going to just jump into this. We were talking about the situation with DeMar Hamlin. Uh -huh. He's actually been cleared to resume uh, football activities after his January cardiac arrest. Um, a lot of people on the fence. Um, as I said earlier, I'm very happy that he has been cleared. Um, the whole world stopped, mm -hmm. you know, in, in, in unison and prayer for him. Um, and it's, you know, just return his recovery. I'm not going to necessarily say his return to football because, you know, if it's uh, an event as a uh, Tragic as his, mm. you know, cardiac arrest. You know, I don't know if if it's smart to just come back right away. Is it smart to say that he died and came back on the field? Like they were trying to reset, they had to resuscitate him twice. twice. Yes. So okay, let's mm -hmm. say this. All right, you're in the military. This is what you want to do your whole life. Boom, active duty, downrange, in combat. Boom, you get shot, lose your leg. They give you a new leg. You go back. Your family's like, You're why would you go back? back? Some people do. No, there are people that go back. They're cleared to go back. You see, they ain't not going back to battle. They sit yeah. their ass down at a desk. Shanika, man, who do you know? Shanika, you better really do your homework. Like, Lieutenant Dan, on that. They, it's people that go back seriously. And this man said, Lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to do this with you. All right. <laughs> okay, scrap that. All right, how about this? We want to know from y'all, man. Uh, you know, we're happy that this guy has been cleared, but we want to know, should DeMar Hamlin go back? No, I feel like uh, the, the NFL people, I forget, you know, the, the higher-ups, they probably pressure the doctors to go ahead and uh, clear him so they can get back to getting that money. Wow. They don't care about, about what's going on with him at all. They can't because if he he died in January, he's not ready to play nobody's football in April or whenever the season starts. It's just very selfish and they just money hungry. Yeah. What if it has nothing to do with that? What if he's actually clear? He appears healthy, just as as healthy as his cohorts. Uh, and it's just one of those things. Like, hey, man, it happened. But, you know, you can go back to work. Mm, I mean, maybe. But I really don't feel. I feel like it's premature. Like, if he gets back on the field when the season starts and then the same thing happens. But this time he doesn't recover, then what? Yeah, then, then, life, then life goes on. Thank you for your well, time. Yeah, call. Young Jock in the Streets morning takeover in the case of Damari Hamlin. Should he go back? Uh, he should absolutely go back. Give us more. I believe he, he need to go back, man, because as an athlete or me as a former athlete, I think what's going to kill you worse is the what if or the, man, I, I could have did this, I could have did that, but you'll never know if you go back out there. Now, I understand he had a very, very tragic situation, but as an athlete, ain't nothing going to keep you off that field, man. you rather down that field than to die anywhere else. So that's just my opinion about it. Yeah. Thank you for your call. All right. Well, you were absolutely right about one thing. Shout out to my brother Adrian for letting me know that there are soldiers that yes. go back. They go back. Because they don't want to let themselves of their families down. Right. So Woo. for I this, this is continue. a personal matter with DeMar and business with his team. And if he wants to go back, I'm not saying that I don't support him. I'm saying that I do support him if he's cleared health wise, which he has been. But I'm not praying for him if he falls out again. Nah, we're gonna keep praying for. Him. I'm not. Maybe they'll just let him dress out and he don't really play that hard. How about that? To keep feeding his family. I'm cool with that. Hey man, it's time for the date dilemma. It's on the way. One eight six six Y U N G J O C again. That number's one eight six six nine eight six four five six two. Keep it locked, Young Jock in the streets. Morning, take. It's time for the day dilemma with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. If you got a dilemma, they got a dilemma, which means we got a dilemma. Who's on the line this morning? This is Maisha. Uh-uh. I ain't, I'm not doing it this morning. The way you the way you said your name is Maisha. <laughs> uh -oh. So you calling a bit of stars. So what's up, baby girl? How can we help you this morning? Hey, Maisha girl. Oh, my God. So basically, I've been dating this dude mm -hmm. for like three years or whatever. Okay. We've been, you know, doing our thing. Um, I just feel like I'm ready to move forward. Mm. I don't know what's going on with him. He's giving me mixed emotions, but mm -hmm. I know that I love him. I prove my love to him all the time. I see him cash apps every day. I help him with his kids, buy his kids Jordans and clothes all the time. Like, I just give him my last. Anytime he needs something, I give it to him. So, I just, I mean, I'm ready to really lock it in, you know? Like, I'm ready to get married. I don't know when he's planning on popping the question, but I just 
I don't know if I should still stay or what, but I'm really ready for my ring right now. Oh, okay. Sounds like it's getting serious. Really, it's really. very serious. Three years, yeah. Yeah, up in that same bone. That's about that time. Really? Yes. Yes. Jack. What do you need us to do? Because yeah. I'm confused. It sounds perfect. I just really want to know, like, is he planning on popping a question? Like, I'm ready to ready for my word. life. Let's get ready to get him on the phone. Then uh, put your phone on mute. Uh, we'll cue you in when it's out. What's his name again? So, uh, this name is Tron. Big Daddy Tron. 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 Like Patron? Like Patron, baby, yes. Okay, Tron. All right. All okay. Right. All right. It's kind of ghetto, but we'll it's roll. Who named Tron? Well, hold no, on. No, it's not ghetto. Y'all, y'all That's okay, ain't got it, baby. We, 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 exactly. We don't, don't talk about him. Baby, can you put the phone on hold, please? Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> because she's just talking time. We are at work. Tron. Tron, Tron. He wrong. Somebody Tron. wrong. Let's find out. Hello. Hey, good morning. Must be with Tron, please. It's Tron. Who is it? Oh, it's Tron. Yeah, my name is Tron, bro. Oh, my bad. Not Tron. Okay. Oh. Uh, correct me then. My bad, my brother. Listen, man. You on the phone with some real ones this morning. I know this is a call out the blue. You got Young Jock, Miss Shanika, and Shadow Shadow on the phone with Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over Tron, not okay. Tron. Uh, sure. Listen, man. We got a segment on our morning show called The Date Dilemma, brother. And uh, I don't know if it's necessarily a dilemma, but uh, we spoke with a young lady who goes by the name of Maisha. Are you familiar? Oh, Man, I know what it was as soon as you said Tron, bro. That's oh, shit. she said, right, she, she called you Tron. I'm, I'm tired of her, bro. I'm a little confused. She called us this morning, spoke so highly of you. She said that you was, you know, this, this guy. The man, y'all, right. she got hopes and dreams, and y'all go she have a family with, together. Well, even pop the question. Waiting on the ring. And, and did she tell y'all how upset she is? I'm, huh? huh? I can't even wipe my I can't even wipe my butt, bro. I can't even go to the bathroom without her coming in the bathroom seeing what I'm doing. What? Oh, she I'm insecure. About, about, it's, it's this bad. It's this bad to the point where I I mm. walk in the house from work. I'm thinking, you know, she got the food ready for the kids, mm. all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I walk in, boom. She got my whole outfit on. I'm I'm tired of it. like why do you? But that's normal though. My my wife do that. I be she be making man. me mad, man. Putting that booty print in my uh, jogging pants. I'm like, girl, I don't got that much. Uh, so okay, so wait a minute. So you telling me this car was kind of fake? Who gave you? Mm. She ain't she she loved me too much, bro. Y'all got kids together? Me. No, no kids. I got three kids. I, uh, but, but not she with do her. come through. She do come through for me though. I ain't gonna lie. Then she buy stuff for the kids. She buy clothes, shoes, all matching J's. I mean, you got three kids. You got a whole lot of kids, and she want to be a part of your movie. I mean, <laughs> I mean, but I got money too, so that's the whole point. You know what I mean? Like one to ten, ten be the most obsessive. What number is she? A thousand over the limit. <laughs> If the, if the meter wow. can't make it 10,000, she over the limit. I'm, I'm just confused. You sound like you got a good woman. Tell her she's crazy about you. What, I mean, what's the problem? It started off lovely. Don't get me wrong. Like, like when you first meet a woman who all about you, you like, you, you go ahead, you all in for it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man. This woman waiting on you to pop the question, bro. What's up with that? <laughs> no. <laughs> negative, negative. Yeah, I ain't popping no questions. Matter of fact, I've been trying to let her let her go for real. Trying, can I tell you something? You gotta be careful with this woman, dog, because this one of the women that was snap. I feel like she gonna bust out a tire or something, man. Well, she, she gonna go, bust out a window. Well, I don't know if she gonna bust out a tire window, but she sure about to bust out on the phone call. Cause Maisha yeah. is on the phone. Maisha, girl, you ain't tell us a whole lot, a whole lot of. Maisha, you, on you the know? Phone? Yeah, yeah. Maisha, yeah. she been on the phone this whole time. Yeah, yes. you know her. Oh, really? Uh, you know, really? John love the hip hop that I have done for you and your kids. That ain't even a point, though. Told me I, you, I, I, you, I, you is uh, fake. You fake is that's all I want you to know. You Whoa. very fake. Uh, You're fake. This whole time you've been living a whole life. It ain't even. I, but, but listen, though, my, my, this is my point, though. I can't even, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you at the house chilling by yourself, and I understand that. You know what I'm saying? I try to give you your you time, but you call me. You need me there every second of the day. You, you know what? I know you don't feel me, like this. You know I, listen, y'all, he don't feel like this. He's just on the phone line. Nah, he don't feel like that. He loves nah, me. Nah, no, he don't, nah. he don't feel like this for real, because you mm. were just saying that we was getting married. Now you're saying you're trying to break up with oh, me. That's, that's, that's after you done bought all the three beds for the kids, you know? The, the kids need a bunk bed. So and basically, I need what you bed. saying? You're so a user. I mean, you use me. I ain't saying I use. It ain't even. It ain't even necessarily mm. use you. We fell in love at first, but you crazy. Like you, you ain't crazy, but you, you own me. Like I, I, got, I need my space. I want to go out to the club. I'm supposed to be on you. Where am I, what, who else I want to go? I want to go. He's a human and he needs a space. Maisha, you sound like you're a good woman. You sound like you could be a little possessive. I, I just don't know. I, I feel like you guys need to talk more. Tron, are you going to stay and work it out with her and be with the love of your life or are you going to go ahead and walk while we give you a chance Sorry, right now? You can. I mean, I, I love what she do for my kids, man. But I, I stay if she give me my space, but... Maisha? Hey, this the person you said you've been trying to break up with for years. She ain't. It ain't no space. Go. 
Hey, hit your they chance, Nick. Hey, bro. Hey, it sounds like that man gonna stay. Oh. I'm gonna have to go. Okay, damn. I thought you were gonna work it out, Troy. Maisha, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Baby, I'm... The real question is, is Maisha gonna let go? Are you no. ready to walk away? The question away? is, is Maisha about to end up on yeah. Snapped, the series? I'm gonna have a 1 800 into the Bethune Law Firm. I think y'all about to let it go, Maisha, and I'm Ain't sorry. Is she quiet too? Oh, yeah, oh, she ain't said nothing. It's over with. Crying? Watch your back. I know. Like, I'm just so hurt. Like, this is crazy. And it's still not over. It's still not over, Trump. It's not That's over. what I'm saying. I tried to break it off. Now I gotta deal with it. Yeah. You, I'm on my way to your house right now. I ain't even near. Call us up. 1866. Why you in GJOC? That number's 1866 986 Y'all pray for Tron. Call keep, police, Tron. Keep it where you got it. Young Jack in the streets morning takeover. <laughs> that was the date dilemma. With Young Jack in the streets morning takeover. Yeah. Young Jack in the streets morning takeover. You know it's time for the date dilemma. All right. Let's just hop right into it. Maisha and Tron have been trying to end this entanglement of three years. Uh, she was sending them cash apps weekly. Buy his kids Jordans, design the clothes, mm. and send morning motivational messages. <laughs> Amongst other things. Now, Tron has been trying to break up with <laughs> Maisha. Uh, and he just can't figure out why she's so stuck on him, man. You know, she doesn't have any any friends or anything like that. Uh, where they live, she's wow. Depending on their relationship. I'm just I just I just be knowing people that are like Somebody who's that clingy, I, I, I would be a little scared. Yeah. Yeah, because they ain't got nothing but you. And if they ain't got you, then they ain't got nothing. So, Shadnika. Yes. I don't want nobody to love me too much. You know? It's scary. She don't want nobody to love her too Man, that's what's scary. You don't yeah. want nobody to love you too no, much. No, over loving is a thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't want you to need me to live. <laughs> Okay, uh-uh. well that's that's I'm straight on that. Yeah, I used to ask for that until I got it. And <laughs> I did. I dated this white girl, and she followed me to the Bahamas, but she drove. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know, man. What's your <laughs> thoughts on this day to live What's up, John? Mr. Nika, shorty, shorty, good morning. Good morning. Oh, my God. It's Auntie Miss Superstar up here today. But look, that girl there, yeah, he's using her. So, Nika, you're right. He's using her. Ain't nothing else to do with him. He sat there and just said that he loves what she do for his children. Right. He don't love that girl. He's totally using her. He is. Baby girl, I know you hurt. You got to move on from that bomb. Move on. Thank you for your call. You know. Thank right, you. Sorry, see ya. Have a good one. You're Y'all jacking the streets. We want to take over talk about this day dilemma. Good morning, good morning. Uh, I, is this 911? But I want to call it and, and uh, report a, a, a murder before midnight. Because she finna tat Trump's ass up, bro. For real. <laughs> real talk. <laughs> real talk, bro. Hey, I, I'm, let me hang up and call Crime Stop and call 911 because <laughs> he need help right now, bro. For real. Y'all have a good one. I got to call 911. All right. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm. Yeah, he, he ought to be careful with that. I've, I've seen somebody love so hard and won't give up. I've seen it. I'm, I'm sure, sure you done 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 done. Uh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no, I'm serious though, man. Because you know when you when you and especially if you're trying to be nice about it, trying yeah. to keep it cordial, like hey, let's just let's do this amicably. Mm-hmm. And they're like, no, no, I just think you you you're taking the easy way out. No, I'm taking the safe. Well, way I'm out. glad you out the game because boy, you don't want to see Jock turn up. He's a monster. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, psychic Wednesdays is on the way. Y'all call us up. one 866 Ain't no psychic, but I think Miss Shanika trying to taint your image. <laughs> <laughs> call us I up, ain't man. no psychic, but he can taint his own image hey, Ooh, every no, Monday night. Oh, my God. Keep it locked. Y'all jacking the street morning. Take over. No.
you know what it is. Your favorite cousin checking in, man. Hey, man, just a little old country boy. I represent what we represent. The streets, that's right. Miss Shanika, what they do? Shout to shout is in the building, man. Yeah, this morning, man, we got a special guest in the building. One of my partner, partner, my player partner, partner, man. Hell and by way of the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? The man introduced the world to a brand. Ladies and gentlemen, in the building this morning, we got the one and only Caesar from Black. Yeah. Goddamn, come Good on morning. down. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, huh? <laughs> the door opened. I was like, well, damn. What? I'm sorry. Well, yeah. no, man, I was just uh, admiring your whole situation. Man, man, I appreciate it, bro. You look around the pictures on the wall. Yeah, you've been, you been, you been here for a minute now, bro. Like, yeah. that longevity, that's different, yo. And as a team, y'all doing y'all, y'all thing thing, you know what I mean? Sometimes y'all don't get you the credit y'all, y'all need. You feel I me? appreciate that, Caesar, man. For real, dog. Real, but we had a time last night. Yeah, we did. We definitely did, Hello. yo. So, Caesar, man, what up? the last thing I seen from you as far as, like, just progress goes, man, your ass got in the gym and got them turned into, like, a warrior. <laughs> like, you turned into, like, a defensive back or something. What's going on, man? What what brought this on, man? You just woke up one day and just decided you're just going to go get buffed? Nah, it's crazy you say that because everybody be asking me that. I've been going to the gym for a while, but it was never, um, how can you say, like a goal? It was more right. to keep ourselves yeah, 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 yeah. on t- right. TV and whatnot. But it's like after you go through a lot, you need your own type of um, rehab. And I always felt like working out, it was like me trying to find me again, the old me, not the person that everybody expects. That's what's up. So has your business still been able to thrive after all of the, you know, the backlash and the news and the, the blogs? Have you still been able to sustain? I mean, after it was all said and done, it was very, it was very hard. Because it wasn't just, my business was different from the show. A lot of people don't understand. I made sure that if anything happened, that that business would be fine. That's why I opened so many shops. The structure of Black Ink will always stand. People will always need tattooed. And as people know, when it comes to urban tattooing, Black Ink is basically stamped. Because you got to understand, when you're on television and people want to see the outcome of everything. So when they finally seen the season finale of the last season, people was like, it wasn't that serious to them. As far as the shops, we thriving, bro. Right. Like, I already started a new structure. I got the new generation in there. Like, ain't nothing going to stop because I wasn't given Black Ink by VH1. I brought Black Ink to VH1. Right. Now, dealing with VH1 and the name Black Ink mm-hmm. as an entity. Right. Are you the sole owner, you and your proprietors, or are they in bed with you and your business? Now, this is the funny thing, right? And this is why I be telling everybody. I had to learn the hard way. I ain't go to business school. Yeah, I am the sole proprietor to Black Ink, but that show's called Black Ink Crew. You, you feel me? Yeah. So when you sit there and be like, nah, it's mine. No, it's not. You own Black Ink. What? This whole thing mine. Nah, well, you structured this whole thing around me. How's it not mine? No, that's why it's easy to sit here and be like, are right, we gonna cut ties from your own your own situation? Like, how you kick me out my own house? Right, no, no I'm, I'm gonna be honest, you know, trying to see actually what happened in that video mm-hmm. um, with you and the whole dog thing at home. And I gotta say this, to this day, I'm still a little lost. I'm, I'm still a lot lost, actually. Bro, listen, I'm still a little lost because you gotta understand how many years ago that happened. Right. And then for that, wow. like, that joint was like over three years ago. I remember some of the situation, but I don't remember that whole. Right. I remember the dog going crazy and trying to calm it down. But, you know. So, hey, bitch, your other dog attacked man, you? Man, it was, it, it did Try to bit the other dog, attack me, basically bit at me or whatever you want. Uh, yeah. Knit me, basically, right, but right. they ain't break no skin. You feel me? But at the end of the day, like I tell everybody, you feel me? You just gotta watch your surroundings. I was I was bugging, and I could sit there and take an account, and I could take account of my action. That shouldn't have happened. But like I said, it was more of a defense mode. I wasn't trying to harm any any um animals or anything like that. But like you say, you see a lot worse. You see man, a lot man, worse. listen, I done seen a lot worse, and, and I've been like, you know what? I'm not one of those people. Like, look. They doing crazy, just like, listen, I'm going to just take my, my, my lashes yes. and go on. Because yes. I'm a man. I take accountability. I was wrong. So was the dog in the video your dog? Like, where's the dog now? The dog was mine. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know who the dog no. was. Because we was arguing I'm about it. Kidding. I was like, no, it was right. dog. It was, it was dog. The, the first dog was when I'm animal shelter the dogs that, you know what I mean? I, I, I just took him because, you know, people threw it out. It was like some, it was supposed to be a bully, but it definitely wasn't a bully. It was a mixed thing. But it was a snappy little dog, so I don't know what the hell. <laughs> okay. It started with the other, like, Best Eye is a peaceful dog, but he was on go time at night, and I couldn't stop him. Like, he was on, uh. Right. But after everything was said and done, I got rid of the little dog because it was way too much. And after this situation, I just decided to give my uh, best eye to my family because okay. that was the family dog. You feel me? People say, oh, he's an animal abuser. Nah, I, I, 
with a certain situation, I didn't handle it right. But I didn't do anything out of malice to harm it. That is well spoken. Heartfelt. The room had to clap for that, man. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my brother, Caesar Emmanuel, man. Hey, man. Make sure y'all stick around because it's love, man. More Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's the boss, Ricky Rose. You locked in right here with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's Psychic Wednesdays. Who's on the line and where you calling from? This is Keisha. I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, Keisha. Okay. Listen, I'm, I'm no psychic. <laughs> But my psychic abilities are telling me. What's your birthday? Yeah. Mm -mm. I got I got to feel it. I got to feel it. Okay. Keisha. Yes. Yeah. Um, seeing that you're single. Okay. Okay. And um, my psychic ability is telling me that um, you need to date older because these young guys are going to continue to run circles around you. <laughs> no, okay. Keisha. My psychic abilities are telling me three tracks in the back of your head are showing. <gasps> My psychic abilities are telling me you got an interview tomorrow. And you got a show, you, a shirt you wore from your last job interview that got a ring around the collar. Go get you the, uh, go get you the, the chloride wipes. It'll get, it'll get the ring off the neck of that shirt. Yeah, my psychic, my psychic ability is telling me that if you hit the lottery tomorrow, you ain't f your family no more. That's right. Yo, Jack in the streets morning. Take over. What's your name? Where you calling from? Hey, it is Big Q, man, from Decatur. It's Psychic Wednesdays. I'm no psychic, but my psychic abilities are telling me you're built like a martini glass. Your top half big and your lower legs are smaller than shoulder shoulders. Yeah. Hey, big man. I'm a personal trainer, big man. Oh. Oh, so you do miss leg day. My psychic ability telling me your name ain't on the lease. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your hey, call. Hey. <laughs> Y'all jockey in the streets morning to take over. What's your name and where you calling from? My name is Jordan and I'm in Lawrenceville right now. Okay, okay. Shouts out to Jordan from Lawrenceville. Are you smarter than young jock, baby? Yes. Well, we about to see. I'm about to hand you over to Miss Shanika right now. Okie dokie. So we're going to start with you first. All right. All right. What does a camel store in its hump? What does a camel store in its hump? Mm-hmm. Water. Three. <laughs> Two. One. That is incorrect. Young Jock, what does a camel <laughs> store in its hut? Coconut milk. Nah, Jock. <laughs> no. Nah. No, nah, I thought it stores fat. Three. Two. One. All right. Jock, you were correct. The answer was fat. Um... All right, Young Jock, what short-named animal might you swat? A short-named animal might you swat? Three. Two. One. Uh, that is incorrect. Jordan, what is a short-named animal might you swat? A fly. You are correct. So, Jordan, which U.S. president appears on a $1 bill? George Washington. You are correct. Hell no. <laughs> Young Jock. Yeah. All right. Young Jock, which fairy tale character had a fairy godmother? Cinderella, Dana, Dane. Ooh. Cinderella. Two. You are correct. Wow. All right. And y'all better ask a hard question. Jordan, this me. could be the last question if you want it to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which classic Mexican dish means little donkey in English? Little <laughs> <laughs> donkey. Can I tell you, Sticky? It's for you. Three. Two. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Young Jack. <laughs> Which classic Mexican dish means a little donkey in English? A gelada. <laughs> That's your final Ain't answer? No way. It's Two. That's <laughs> <laughs> a Miley. Damn. You don't know? That Ain't is no incorrect. The answer is. Keto. A burrito. Oh, and no, here's why the dog can be on the burrito pack. Be yeah. out of the uh, burrito shells. I knew it was Keto. Hold on, you be buying it from the dollar store. I knew it was something. Because <laughs> I ain't never seen that. Keto means small. Yeah. That's why you act like that. Keto. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Jack, Phyllis Wheatley is famous for being what? I know that name. Three. Two. Reporter. One. That is incorrect. Jordan, Phyllis Wheatley is famous for being what? Uh, Three. Uh, I'll do two. One. All right, you are correct. What? All right, Jordan, What's you are saying? the winner. Therefore, you will receive a $50 gas card courtesy Ooh. of Attorney Adonis. Well, she was a reporter, too. Yes, she was. She was a, yes, she was. She was a journalist. Boy. And an author. Yes, she was. Google it. You didn't say that. I said reporter. That's not her career right now. Girl, you don't, <laughs> you don't take that $50 gas card and go you on. You really be wanting to fight these people over $50. I, I, pull up. Pull up, Jordan. All right. Well, <laughs> do you have any shout outs this morning? Uh, I just want to shout out my mama, my sister, my friend, everybody. Yay! Yay! Everybody who helped you in that car, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> All right, Thank hold y'all. on a moment so they can get your info. Love y'all. Hold on, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is what it is. On this beautiful. Psychic Wednesday. Yeah, I'm no psychic, but my psychic abilities are telling me that most of y'all possibly saw this viral clip of the young lady who was at the gas station in her vehicle and uh, the young lady threatened her about hitting her car with the kids in mm-hmm. it. And she did it. And everybody else called. And went on across the street and flipped the car. Yes. Jumped out of the tr- was a truck. Jumped out of it like the Joker. Unscratched. Unscathed. Not the Joker. Yeah, she did. She jumped out and put her hands up. Like, yeah, laughing. we seen that, but it's oh my we all God. called it so many different things. I called it the Hulk. The Hulk. I was just trying to figure out what it was, man. What was your thoughts on that? My thoughts were I did not know what the heck was going on until I heard this. A woman involved in a chaotic fight in West Suburban Forest Park now faces felony charges, and it was all caught on camera. Oh my baby. Oh my baby. Y'all better go ahead. Forest Park police say 31-year-old Kendra Nance was fighting with her boyfriend at this Thornton station afternoon when other customers got involved. Detectives say getting behind the wheel of a Ford Explorer and nearly driving into several people, she then sped off, crashed into another car, and flipped over. But she got out and continued to yell at others involved in the fight. Police arrested Nance about a block away. No one else was hurt. She's scheduled to be in court to face several felonies, including aggravated assault. I... Now, we've been trying to find out what happened. We actually had a young lady who called up here who's allegedly her cousin Mm -hmm. and said that she had actually ran off on getting her nails done. She had this, she was supposed to be getting a fill in, and the girl gave her a full acrylic set. And when she went to the car, she was going to pay, she took off running. That was one girl call. Uh The other, the guy called, he was like a little. You know, one of the guy, one of the boys. He was like, and and so basically, she ran off with some hair. Voice? I can't do the one. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to get jumped in the parking lot. <laughs> well, uh, said she ran off with some hair. Oh. And what you heard? That's a legend. What happened? What you heard? Sir? I heard she was fighting her boyfriend uh-huh. in the parking lot, and the other girls like he's too cute to be treating like that. And then they started throwing stuff like we'll take him if you don't want him. And then that's when the car hit him on the other side. I that's, saw that. And you saw him get hit. We first. got smashed in the door. That was the second time. Cause when they came around, she drug him all the way up through there. So you what you heard? About I, your, I heard that they got into a fight about who was the ugliest on our billboard in Chicago. Oh they my were like, god! No. Nah, Jock definitely ugly this shot. <laughs> Whoa. And then he just took off from there. <laughs> Coming up inside oh. the word on the streets, dude. Okay. We're going to talk about <laughs> the tribute that was paid to Gangsta Boo. Find out where that took place. And So So Dev Weekend is making its comeback. All that and more coming up in less than 10 minutes inside the Word on the Streets News. Word on the Streets going down like Jock said. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. Oh man, it feels so good to wake up with y'all. What up, Miss Shanika? Feels good. Okay, so what also feels good is Jermaine Dupri making his grand announcement about So So Death Weekend, which made 
a huge impact on the ATL, making their comeback. That's right. So, so so death 30th anniversary. The festival will happen September 29th through October 1st. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Huh? What what was that? I, yes. Help me understand. I'm lost. What was that? Mm. I mean, it was how he made his announcement. It was on a, a whiteboard uh, and he No, the, the music. Yes. Who was that? What was why was, I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, I don't know. It was a whole presentation. It was. A Is that like out. one of the first songs he did or something? I don't I was know, tra- but why are you questioning? So what's this, going on? No, I was lost. Why is your button so far apart from each other? Do they I mean, people <laughs> want to know things. <laughs> Maybe, um, maybe he's in the gym. So, congratulations. So, so Death Weekend is making its way back to the ATL. It's going to be a festival, and it's going to be around the same time Jermaine Dupri celebrates his birthday. All right. And talk about Glorilla. She paid homage to my girl, Gangsta Boo, at Coachella. <laughs> Love it. Yes. Uh, man, almost gave me chills, man. Uh, long live Gangsta Boo. It was just an honor long, watching her pay homage to long live, long someone live. who paved the way for her yes. in Memphis. So um, job well done. Love how they were dressed up like Gangsta Boo from where the dollars at video. If you don't know, you will know by logging on and looking it up on Streets Morning Takeover on our IG. That is the word on the streets news. I am Miss Shanika. Thank you, Miss Shanika. The Love Doc Jock is on the way. 1-866-Y-U-N-G-J-O-C again. 1-866-986-4562. Can't wait to hear from y'all good people. Keep it like Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's about that time for the Love Doc Jock. Help me help you help okay. me. Okay, come on. What's your problem? And this guy will either help or hinder your relationship. Who do I think I am? Why I tell people that? Either way, he's a man for the job. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. You're on with the Love Doc Jock. What's your name? Where you calling from? My name's Sequisha. I'm from yeah. Bankhead. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. we can tell by the name. No, I was saying, yeah, like Shabuya. Yeah, because you said my name's Shaquisha. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Shaquisha? How can we help you, baby? Oh, the love, Doc Doc. What you need, mama? So I was talking to this guy, and he was staying with me, and, you know, I was showing him major love, and, you know, he was having a hard time. And the whole time, he was just disrespecting me, slandering my name on the Internet, pretending like he was single, and just doing the most. And I decided that I'm going to break up with him. Now he crying, ask, saying sorry every day. But I already done gave him two years. And he played with me the whole two years. What do you think I should do? Stay single. What the hell is you mean? What the hell is you saying? Stop letting people play with you. Don't let them play with you. Mm-hmm. He already laid Yeah, but now he, he won't leave. That now he don't want to leave. He got to go. Call the police. No, hold on. I know. Right now, I got to call the popo. Oh, so you say he been staying up for two years? Yes. He's, uh, for two years is playing. Just you, playing. We too old to be playing So let me, let me ask you a question. So y'all ain't together no more? Or you just say it's just been lingering for this, this long now? Man, that man won't leave. All right, then who done in the place in? Well, you know you got to go file them papers. Who, that, the who name is the apartment in? Cause it sounds like y'all in the apartment. <laughs> Huh? Yes, we got an apartment on here on the west side. He is not on here. But right. the problem so, is, so go on and you just find you a new spot. No, I'm just going to find like, you a new spot. What you mean? That's, I got to break my lease. That's crazy. No, you don't. No, you got to change your locks. You got to file that paper again. Uh, out of that. There. If he ain't on the lease, it's you like, can change the lock. It. It's like you see a woman, she's single, and she by herself. Ain't no brothers, uncles, or cousins. Now you got to make me call the police and get people in my business. Yeah, you got to like, do that. Just start crazy. coming home. Just go on 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 about your business. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, she got to find her another place. Well, her name I is said, on the lease, That's what though. I said first. Can't just leave you can't just leave You could break the lease. What, what you rather do? No, you can't. You want to you wanna break your lease and continue breaking your own heart. What's more important? Um, I'm going to get me a Glock. Yes, don't put that on your credit. Get you a Glock. 
Don't mess up your credit. You'll never better get another apartment again. Hey, man, this is the Love Doc Talk. I don't know what's going on with y'all this morning, man. I'm praying for you. If you got a small business and want to be spotlighted, hit us right now, 1-866-YUNGJLC. That number is 1-866-986-4562. Call us up right now for the Small Business Spotlight with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's time for Small Business Spotlight, giving back to the community with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Crystal, the owner of Bumblebee Beauty, located at 1827 Powers Ferry Road in Atlanta, right behind the Braves Stadium. It is a med spa, so we do facials, chemical pills, makeup, things of that nature. Please follow us on Facebook or Instagram, Bumblebee underscore beauty GA on Instagram, and just Bumblebee Beauty on Facebook. Every morning, I listen to Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. Sometimes you just wake up and lames are around. <laughs> well, that's why you shouldn't be sleeping at work. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Sleeping stands for it. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> just, just snoring no. and slobbering. No. Man, I got to say, man, y'all are crazy. He, he does not be sleepy. He be on charge. I do. Stand by. Here you talking about. <laughs> hey, man. I got to take the time to shout out Louisville. Going to be in the city uh, Saturday is going down in a major way. Can't wait to see y'all, man. I can't you know it's gonna be a to lot of love. Them too. Yeah, uh, man. Shouts out mm-hmm. to everybody who showed up and showed out last night, man. From, uh, at Boogaloo, man. Shouts out to all the new, latest Delta hirees and trainees that came out and rocked out with me last night. I had an amazing time, man. I appreciate you guys and my people over there, at Hilton, for the Hilton Honors uh, program and all that. Right there. Shout out, shout out. Thank you. Phone went off. We got to send a happy belated birthday to Angie, our very own Angie. Happy birthday, boo. Happy birthday. Angie, Angie, dang. You mean to tell me this is the first time I said happy birthday to her and I didn't say it. I got to say it over there. Yeah. You're a real trifling BFF. I'm in. I'm in for a whole cussing out today. Well, it's love, man. (laughs) I got to say shout out to everybody who who, uh, actually called us up, chimed in on any of the trending topics. I just want to say something on the day dilemma. We appreciate you wholeheartedly, man. We'll catch y'all tomorrow, man. On the next go-round, more with Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover.